Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'll show you how to use Wix Studio to build a stunning website that is fully responsive and work across multiple devices like desktop, tablet, and mobile. So let's get into it. So for those who are new to my channel, Wix Studio is a design and development platform for designers, developers, and agencies to create stunning interactive websites. So make sure to check out my other tutorials in my channel to have a general sense of what Wix Studio can do. Alright, so let's go to the Wix Studio dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is to create a Studio Blank Canvas. So here we are in the blank canvas. So let's remove these default components. And next, let's change this desktop width to 1440 so it can match up with my Figma design. And from here, you can start building your website from scratch, or you can just transfer all of your Figma design into Wix Studio using the Wix Studio plugin. So you can open this menu here and then select import to Figma. And all you have to do is to paste the Figma URL link to this panel right here. So let's jump over to Figma. So I have this very simple web design here. Since we don't have a lot of time, so I only have two modules here to demonstrate. And before transferring this to Wix Studio, there's a couple of things that you need to clean up and organize your Figma files to make sure that everything is transferred correctly to Wix Studio. You can learn more about this by checking my other tutorials. So I put the link under the description. All right, so first thing, let's click on this share button and copy this URL. And then just go to Wix Studio and paste the link here. And now the Figma file will be connected to Wix Studio. And then to transfer your design element to Wix Studio, just simply open the plugin Figma to Wix Studio. And then let's skip the setup because we already did. And from here, you can start to export any frame of your design to Wix Studio. So you can either export one frame at a time or export the whole page. But for this video, let's export one by one so you can see the process easier. So let's select the hero banners and click export frame and go to wix studio and click on refresh import so this to make sure that all of your latest changes has been reflected to wix studio and down here let's make sure that this is being imported as a section and then just click add to site so give it a few seconds and you'll see all of the elements being transferred to wix studio so here we have the hero banner layout is being imported to Wix Studio. So overall, I think it's looking pretty good. All of the elements and spacing remain precisely. So the only thing that we need to work on is how these elements respond to different screen sizes. So you can see here by default, all of these elements is being scaled proportionally. So when you switch to tablet and mobile views, it's being scaled really small. So to change this, we need to go to each element and uh, adjust the settings. Uh, so first let's select the section and change the responsive behavior to fixed height and for the logo i want it to stay the same size until we get a certain breakpoint so i'm going to set it as fixed and then do the same for the two button on the top right corner and for these two text uh, at the bottoms i want it to stay docked to the very bottom of the banner so let's scroll down to the margin section and then select this dock to bottoms and then just do the same for the other one and for the image in the middle i'm going to uh, set it at uh, relative width uh, so now let's give it a previews uh, so you can see that all of these elements is being responsive to the browser size uh, and the image is stay the same size uh, because we set it at relative width uh, and for the text in the middle Currently, it's being docked to uh, the top, which is not what we wanted. So let's scroll down here and switch it to dock to bottom. And for the text inside, let's go with wrap. So the letters will drop off when you scale the browser. And for the buttons, uh, maybe uh, let's keep it uh, relative width. And now let's preview and scale the browser. So uh, looking pretty good, like everything is responsive. Alright, so I think we're good for the next stop layout. So now let's move on to the tablet. So at the first glance, it looks pretty decent. We just need to make some small adjustment here. So let's move it up a little bit. And for the text, you can even have a different set of font size for the tablet layouts. And you can have all the freedom to adjust the text layout so it will look the best. Once you're done with the tablet layout, you can move on to the mobile layouts. 
So the mobile layout will be a little bit more tricky because we have less real estate to accommodate all of these elements. So we need to make these elements smaller as well as to hide some unnecessary items like for this social media icons. I can click here and hide it. Uh, so now it looks much cleaner. So the rest is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is to adjust the layout and the font size and spacing so it will look the best on mobile. And once you're done, you can click here to preview and toggle between these different screen sizes uh, here. And now you can see that it's looking pretty good. All right, so to wrap up the hero banner, I would like to elevate it even more by adding some interaction to it. So I'm going to replace this static image with a interactive iframe component. So now we have this iframe component in the canvas. So let's click here and move this out to the bottoms. And then let's click here so it could expand to fill up the whole banner. And now you can remove the placeholder image. All right, so with this iframe components, I'm going to go to spline. And here I have a 3D spline file ready to be exported. So here's how it looks like. Uh, so we remove the cursors, the text will be revealed. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, so now let's go back and click export. And go to public URL and just simply copy this copy embed link. So you can find this link under the description of my video in case you want to try. Now back to Wix Studio, just click on enter code and paste the link that you just copy and boom, we have this really cool spline interaction integrated to this hero banner. And it works perfectly with other layout as well. So here's the tablet and here's the mobile. All right, so we're good with the hero banner. And for the next section, we're going to do exactly the same process. So we're going to export this frame to Wix Studio. And again, by default, this element is being scaled proportionally. So I'm going to set these images as a relative width. And for these text and descriptions, let's set it as wrapped. And then let's give it a preview. So now when you scale the browsers, it will squeeze these columns nicely. And again, for the text, let's also give it a wrapping behavior. All right, so now so let's check out this tablet layout. Uh, so yeah, it's almost there. Just need to adjust uh, these uh, text width a little bit and reduce this uh, module height so we can push the columns closer to the title. And we can also adjust the height of these images uh, so it doesn't look so tall. So I'm going to set it as uh, 360. So everything will be viewable in one fold. Uh, so we're good with the tablet layout. So let's move on to the mobile layout. Uh, so you can see that in the mobile layout, uh, this three columns is not working. So we need to change that. So first thing, let's adjust the font size of the title. So and then for these columns, the good thing is we already have this at the stack. So all we need to do is to click on this and switch this to vertical stack. So now it will be stacked on each other. And then all we need to do is to adjust these uh, images with value. And then also adjust the title accordingly. And then you can go to the stack setting and freeze the spacing. All right, so after making these adjustments, so let's take a look at all of this layout, see how it works. So you can see all of these elements adapting to the screen size nicely. And then you can apply the same process for the rest of the page. So that's how you can build a fully responsive website using Wix Studio without writing a single line of code. So this is the end of my tutorial today, so I hope you find this one helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.